welcome to my vegan kitchen. I'm Michelle. So I know a lot of you have made New Year's resolutions, right? You guys want to eat healthier, you know, foods that are low in calories, high in nutrition. Well, I got the perfect side dish for you. Spaghetti squash. It's easy to make, it's high in fiber, low in calories, and it will replace your rice or your pasta. So come with me as I do it now. All right guys, here we are, you ready? Here's my spaghetti squash, nice and beautiful. So I already washed and dried my spaghetti squash. Hey guys, I'm gonna make this disclaimer now. I noticed when in the intro, if you notice, my voice is a little off. I'm really not feeling well, but so many of you asked because I made a video a couple weeks ago or maybe last week um, where I mentioned eating whatever it was I made. I think it was the uh, air fried chicken, the air fried mushrooms with spaghetti squash. And so many of you have asked me to do the spaghetti squash video, so here it is. I'm not feeling well though, so I'm a little congested. My voice may sound a little different. I hope I don't have to cough in the middle of this, but I had to make this video for you guys. So here we go. We're gonna start with this beautiful spaghetti squash, and I love it because it's so versatile, but it's hard to get into. So let me show you how I get into this spaghetti squash, all right? You gotta get a knife, a nice sharp knife, nice stable board, and we're gonna cut the bottom off. So this is how I get it to be stable. So let's get into here and cut this bottom off. Let me get my knife really in there. All right, we got it off. And then I'm gonna place it this way. This way it gives me a nice stable so I can really cut it in here because we're gonna cut it in half or uh, diagonal, I guess. Yeah, diagonal. Ready? Here we go. Take my knife and I'm gonna get right into it. Get it nice and situated right in the middle. And then we're just gonna go down. Got it, perfect. There we go. All right, so you see that's what the insides looks like. We're gonna take a spoon and scoop out these seeds. I'm gonna use a serrated spoon to scoop out the seeds, but you could also use a regular spoon, it's fine. The serrated spoon just has a rough edge, it's like a um, grapefruit spoon. So that's what I'm gonna use just to really get out the inside. All right, so now that I have the seeds out, okay, nice and clean, I'm just gonna flip these over and I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna just add some little air holes. So when it starts to steam, because we're gonna bake it this way, upside down, there's holes for the, heat to be released. So that, now that we have that, I'm gonna get a bacon dish, large bacon dish that we could fit our spaghetti squash in, some parchment paper. Now you guys don't have to have parchment paper. For some reason, I just like to line, there goes spaghetti squash seed. I like to line my um, bacon dish because it just gets really weird. The sugar sometimes that comes out of these squashes just kind of sticks to my um, my dish and I don't like it. So I'm putting it in that. Okay, so now that we have our spaghetti squash, let's move this out of the way and let's bring this forward so you guys can see. I'm going to season it with salt. I'm also going to add some oil. I'm just using grapeseed oil. You could use olive oil if you'd like. I'm just gonna cover that with some oil right on the inside. I'm gonna flip this back over, just like that. Okay, and I'm gonna place this in my oven and allow it to roast or bake for a good couple of minutes. I'll let you know when I come back how long it took to bake these. All right, guys, so now that the spaghetti squash is in the oven, this is what I'm gonna do, because we need to eat something with that spaghetti squash, because I'm spaghetti, and I'm so sorry for my voice sounding like this, but it is what it is, right? So normally you guys are not used to me eating these, these types of um, pre-done, um, what we call fake meats. I usually don't, but for today's recipe, because I wanna make it super simple, and super easy for me and for you. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna make some meatballs to go with that spaghetti squash. So we're using Beyond Meat meatballs. And these are pretty good. They're, they're pretty tasty. For those of you, let's get this, this top half off. For those of you who are not familiar, veganism has come a long way when it comes to vegan foods. 
These are actually really delicious. They're, they're really good. They taste, these are the best I've tasted. They look and the texture, the taste, the look of it is like real meatballs. But like I said, I don't do this very often, but I, just, I don't have the energy, guys. I don't have the energy. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take these meatballs and I'm gonna place them in this baking dish and I'm gonna pop them in the oven with the spaghetti squash and I'm gonna let them get really brown. We're gonna make a sauce to go with it though. So here we go. Let's just pop them in. And I'm telling you, these things are like, they're like real. Like even the texture feels like real meat. And for those of you in the comments, whatever, I really don't care. I know so many of you like, but you're vegan, why would you? I'm so tired of explaining. We who do this, we know why. So, you know, y'all need to stop worrying about it. This is what it is. This is what it looks like. Um, actually, you don't need to add any oil or anything to this. It generates its own oil. So the first time I used it, I added oil and it was such a mistake because it, it makes its own oil. It's actually really easy. So let's pop these in the oven with the spaghetti squash. Okay, so while those are in the oven, let's get a skillet going. Let's get a skillet heated up. You know how I do it. Let's get this heated up while I tend to this. We're gonna make a little bit of a gravy to go with those meatballs. It's just gonna be mushrooms and onions. All right, let's get a couple of mushrooms. Just a couple, you don't need to make too much. Let's do six, all right? I'm gonna get these mushrooms and I'm just gonna slice them and I'm gonna also slice or chop some uh, onions. All right, guys, so we got the mushrooms and the onions chopped. Let's head over to the other side. I think my skillet has warmed up, so let's get some oil in my skillet. We're gonna now add our onion and our garlic to, <laughs> I said garlic, didn't I? Um, my onions and my mushrooms to the skillet. Just kind of stir that around so everything gets coated with the oil. And we're gonna let that kind of just saute down until the onion becomes translucent. All right, guys, come on in, let me show you. So now the onions, the, the mushrooms are all caramelized. We're gonna pop those meatballs right in there. So let me grab them out of the oven. Woo, the oven is hot. All right, here go our meatballs. And come in close and take a look, guys. This is crazy, because I want you to see. Look at those meatballs. You see how much oil and um, liquid that came out of the meatball? And that's why I said don't add any. You don't have to add any oil. It's going to make its own oil. But this is how easy I'm going to make it. I'm going to toss it right in that pan. Everything right in that pan. Let me get the flame back up. Let me swish that around a little bit. Yes, guess what I'm gonna put in here? Y'all know what I'm gonna put in here because I want my life to be easy. Coconut milk and the Korean barbecue sauce. So let's get that flame back up. Let's get it to a medium. Let's get this out. We're just gonna pour some in the pot. I didn't even measure. I'm gonna say it's probably a third of a cup, a third of that can. Shake this up. So all the seasonings are melt together. Put that in, probably half a cup. Toss that around, let it thicken up and become brown. Come on in so they can see. I'm tossing it around, bring it up to a bubble. Once that sauce is thickened up a little bit and it's nice and brown all the way through, we're not seeing these white parts, but we're done. That is our meatballs in our sauce, guys. That's it. That's how easy the protein part of this meal has come together. All right, guys. It sounds like our spaghetti squash is ready. It's hot, it's hot, it's hot. Give it a minute. All right, let me go in and get it. Ooh, look at it. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Let me close this oven. You can see it's nice and hot. So we're gonna give it a couple of minutes to cool down because I'm gonna show you how to make it into spaghetti, our side dish for the meatballs, okay? All right, let's let this cool down a little bit and we come back. All right, our spaghetti squash has cooled down. Let's turn it this way. I just want you guys to be able to see this. All right, so now that it's cooled down, we're just gonna scoop out the inside. Come in close so you guys can see. So that's what it looks like. Ooh, still a little warm, so I'm not gonna really pick it up. I'm just gonna take my fork and look at that. 
Look at that. You see all of this? Looks just like spaghetti, right? So I'm gonna put it in my plate and I'm gonna use it as that, as pasta. But if you chop this up a little bit, you could use it as rice. This is high in vitamin C, loaded with vitamin C, loaded with fiber, it's low in calories. This is so good for you. So if you wanna really replace your rice, your pasta, your potatoes, try a butternut squash. Now you're asking about the taste. It doesn't really have a taste. It doesn't have a flavor. So you can add your sauce to it and it won't really like change the taste of your sauce. But let me scoop some of this out and I'm gonna place it right in this plate right, that I have right here. All right, let's get some of this. See, and that's what it looks like. You see how stringy it is? Just like pasta. It's crazy, right? This is such a good substitute, such a good substitute for pasta. All right, so I got some right in the plate, all right? Let's push this to the side, get this here. Let me go grab the meatballs. All right, so the meatballs were sitting there, kind of just waiting. There's the sauce, you see the sauce thickened up nicely. Let me grab two meatballs. So sometimes I'll season my butternut squash. Did I just say butternut squash? I tell you, this sickness is going to my head. My spaghetti squash. Okay, sometimes I'll use a little bit of garlic powder just to season that up. Sometimes I'll put Parmesan cheese. That's really good. So, you know, if you just want to add a little bit more flavor to the spaghetti squash, like I said, it doesn't have much taste. So you can do just about anything. A little black pepper, it makes it really good. But because we have this nice gravy, from the meatballs, we're just gonna use that to flavor our spaghetti squash. Let's taste. Well, I just wanna taste the mushroom first. I love mushrooms, so I'm just gonna taste the mushroom first. Mmm, that is on point. All right, these meatballs be meatballing. <laughs> is that a word, right? They be balling. <laughs> these meatballs be balling. Like I said, I don't eat it much, but every time I do have a chance to eat it, I'm just like, man, how did they do that? How did they turn that into a, how is this plants? And it tastes like, like meat. It's crazy. All right, let's taste them together. Mm. Mm, incredible. Let me chew. This tastes so good, but let me chew. This is good. You see me telling the cameraman that this is good? It's good. <laughs> this is really good. Like I said, I haven't had some Beyond Meatballs in maybe years. They really improved it, even better than it used to be. And I'm not even a spokesperson for Beyond. That's what's crazy. Beyond, y'all better hit me up. Y'all need to give me a sponsorship for this. Mm. But the spaghetti squash, let's get back to the spaghetti squash. That's really good also. So it's kind of al dente. Not too soft, not too firm. It's absolutely perfect. It will make the most incredible, like I said, side dish. You gotta get into the spaghetti squash, guys. It's January, you are trying to lose some weight, this is the best way to do it. I'm not gonna put this in my mouth because I wanna finish up this video. I know you guys are, are, are ready to go. You've seen it, you know what to expect. You're gonna try this recipe. I just wanna thank you guys for coming into my vegan kitchen. I know I started this video out and I didn't feel good. You could hear it in my voice, but I wanted to get this recipe out and I'm so glad I did because the meatballs are hitting. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't write on the bottom. And also, don't forget to tap on that bell so you could get the, the reminders, the alert whenever I post a new video. Thanks again, guys, for spending your time with me. And I'll see you again next week for another easy and delicious plant-based recipe. Bye, guys. Mmm, the meatballs are hitting. Mmm, that was good. All right.